I've been asked multiple times to share time management tips. Tip number one, you need to know your destination. Now for me personally, another big principle is to cut out the noise. Cut out the noise in your life. Another principle is something called the sphere of control or circle of control. Spend time on things that you can control. Don't spend time on things that you can't control. Welcome to the David Bombal Christmas Giveaway. Today's giveaway is books. I'm going to be giving away two copies of the Cisco Press Official Cert Guides for ICND 1 and ICND 2. This is the premium edition ebooks, so you get both the ebooks as well as quiz questions. Now, two people will win one of these giveaways. I'm going to be making electronic versions available to make it easier for anyone to enter and receive their prizes. Now, if you win, I'll get your details and then buy copies of the ICND 1 and ICND 2 Official Cert Guide Premium Editions, and then you'll be able to download them from wherever you are. So this should make it easy for anyone to get copies of the Official Cert Guides from Cisco Press and practice for the exam and hopefully pass the exam. But in addition, I'm also giving away Python books. Eric, who's the author of this book, has been kind enough to offer copies of his book for free. A really cool thing is that one person will receive a signed copy of Eric's book. There is a condition for this prize, however. It's only for people in the United States. So please don't enter for the physical book prize unless you're based in the United States. But to be fair, Eric is also giving away five copies of his Python book as e-copies or PDFs. So if you're not based in the United States, you also have a chance to win Eric's book. So one person who lives in the US will get a signed physical copy of Eric's book. Eric will sign his book and ship it to you. And then five people will win soft copies of Eric's book. I wanna thank Eric for making this giveaway possible. And I've also got good news. Eric is going to be joining me on various calls to discuss network automation, the cloud, and other topics. I was hoping to have a call with Eric this week, but I've been having serious issues with internet connectivity out here in the African bush. So we're gonna do that in January once I'm back in the UK. But I'm hoping to have multiple calls with Eric in 2019, where Eric can share his knowledge and wisdom with all of us. So use the links below if you wanna win one of these prizes. Make sure that you choose the right link for the book that you want. If you wanna win either of these prizes, then use both links and perhaps you'll win one or the other. I've been asked multiple times to share time management tips. Tip number one, you need to know your destination. Where are you going? What are you trying to accomplish? In other words, you need to set goals. You need to decide where you're going. You need to decide what you're trying to accomplish. People talk about aims versus goals versus other terms. It doesn't matter. You essentially need to write down what you're trying to accomplish where you want to go, what you're trying to do. Goals or aims determine how you're going to spend your time. If your primary goal is to get a girlfriend, you're going to spend your time very differently to someone whose primary goal is to buy a new house or buy a new car. The goal or the aim determines how you spend your time. If your primary goal or your primary aim is to get your CCNA certification or to learn Python or to learn Linux, you're going to spend your time very differently to someone whose primary goal is to watch Game of Thrones. Watching television, to me, is a big time waster. But someone whose primary goal is to binge on Game of Thrones or some other television series is going to spend their time very differently to someone who wants to get certified and get ahead. There's nothing wrong with binging on television once in a while. But watch yourself. Don't get stuck watching hours and hours of television or Netflix or whatever every day. 
make sure that you limit your time on that. A statistic that I heard is that Americans spend something like two to four hours every day watching television. Now think about that. How much time is that over a week, over a month, over a year? If you took some of that time and stopped watching television and spent that on other activities, how much more could you accomplish with your life? Goals drive action. Your goals will determine how you spend your time and what you do. So make sure that you write down your goals. What are you trying to accomplish? Goals, as they say, help you get through the short-term pain for the long-term gain. Short-term pain could be the pain that you have while you're exercising, but the long-term gain is a better life. What pain are you prepared to go through today to give you a long-term gain? You may really enjoy television, or you may really enjoy spending time on Facebook. Take the pain in the short-term for the long-term gain. So, my challenge to you today is write down your goals. What are you trying to accomplish? Where are you trying to go? Write down your goals and review them every day. Make sure that you know where you're going. If you don't have goals, you're going to be going nowhere. So my challenge again to you is write down goals, check them every day if you can, and then go to work and accomplish those goals. Now for me personally, another big principle is to cut out the noise. Cut out the noise in your life. That's one of the reasons that I limit the amount of television I watch. I personally don't own a television and I haven't for many years because it's just noise. I find that I can concentrate better and think better in peace and quiet so I try and cut out the noise I don't watch a lot of news I don't watch a lot of television I cut that out so that I can think and concentrate on what I'm trying to accomplish another principle is something called the sphere of control or circle of control spend time on things that you can control don't spend time on things that you can't control You'll just frustrate yourself. Focus your effort on the things that you can change or the things that you can control. As an example, I can control my time, but I can't control the political situation in America. I have no control of the political situation in the States, but I do have control over my time and what I do with my time. So I spend time on things that I can control and not worry about things that I cannot control. The political situation in your country may frustrate you. It doesn't help to complain and get upset about the political situation in your country. If you want to make a change, then go and do that, but don't just spend time thinking about and being upset about things that you have no control over. If you personally can't make a difference, in the political situation of your country or in something else, then don't spend a lot of time thinking about and getting upset about those things. Spend time on the things that you can control. What can you do in your life to change things? So for me personally, I can change where I spend my time. I can decide to spend my time on creating content or learning new things. That's something that I can change. So I don't spend a lot of time thinking about the political situation in the States because that's not something that I personally can change. That's something that my American friends need to look at. So I spend time on things that I can change and spend time on things that make a difference in my life and the lives of those around me Creating YouTube videos like this, as an example, is something that I can do to effect change in the lives of others. I've received many, many messages of how these videos have helped people, and that's why I create them. It's something that I can do to effect change in the world. I can't change the political situation in the States or in other parts of the world, but I can spend my time creating YouTube videos. So what can you do 
to make a change in your life and the lives of others. Spend time on what you can control. Don't spend time on things that you can't control. I'm David Bombal and I want to once again wish you all the very best.